This program was made possible by USAID and AGRA with technical support from MOFA. Good farming. Never want to buy you a No, no, the <laughs> Ahuma humaso literally means water dripping from a rope. It is a farming community known for growing cassava and other staple crops such as yam, cocoyam, plantain, and vegetables. The community has one of the biggest markets that serve the entire district of Fantiaqua. Welcome to Kiapa. We are in the eastern region of Ghana. We are in a town called Ahumahumaso in the Fantiaqua district. It's a market day. Farmers in this community grow staples like cassava and plantain. In recent times, they started cultivating vegetables like cabbage, tomatoes, and chili pepper. But the biggest challenge for farmers in this community is the channels through which they can sell their cassava. This week, we are looking at linking farmers here in Ahumaumaso to market outside the local weekly market where they can sell their cassava. Most of the farmers in Ahumaumaso belong to either Adom or Onia Farmers Association. Amen. Amen. The groups were established to meet the economic and social needs of their members. Almost all of them are cultivating cassava to serve two main markets, gari processing and fresh cassava for fufu. Over the years, cassava cultivation has not been lucrative because farmers haven't had significant access to output market. This is made worse by the fact that there isn't a processing center in the community. And because cassava is a delicate crop, most farmers don't process it on large scale. But she say much the same work for cabbage, any other vegetables. A bunny saying, "Ena musi say musa." Eh, the question can you na ye manchipa o hanu mo? Na mo no se bunchi ni ye ready na atofono ba so to a odi ko efu mo no ko chama no a obetu ni na kochi na oton wia opa na odi osika ebro cabbage nsu die ye ready wa fono so pe o freba ya no ba anu ane se o ko jina kwa ho ye chua ni abe she o moto na o kan o moto dudu o benya na osika so obetu mo di enti e ne free bunchi no no. Not just a bunch, you know, the major problem man, is uh, access to markets. Sir, we put your obisa or how about you meet me or how are a what bunch you do? Sir, one is a one half year now. Yeah, 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 but you can say we're born in Ebe do so one half years. 
I am not sure what you are doing. 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 I am not a 35-year-old hard-working teacher who lives here in Ahumahuma. So Very good. Glad for her. He's also a farmer. He lives here with his wife and two children. He grows cassava, maize, and owns poultry. His farm is 45 minutes walk away from his homestead. The problem is that most of the roads leading to the farms are not well kept and they have to use footpath instead. This makes transporting bulky cassava difficult and expensive. So Isa, how far away is the nearest processing center? We don't have any processing center here. None at all? We don't have it at all. So how do you process your cassava? Our people do it manually, right from the farm to the finished product. Manually. Yes. What do you think can make a real difference in the life of cassava farmers in this community? Oh, that one, the, the only thing is if they had a processing center here, it will really improve their work and then their living condition because they will be able to do it on a large scale to have a lot of income. Is that you're a teacher? Yes. Why go into farming? I went into farming because um, I followed my mother right from infancy, so I learned the trade. The skill is still in me. Then sometimes I give it to my mother to process it. Oh, so your mother processes it yes. after you have a... Yes. Okay, Isa, let's pay mommy a visit. Okay, we can go and see her. Okay. Another gary market. Yes, another gary market. Uh -huh. Exercise. Yeah. 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 Have you tried selling some to exporters? Yes, they come, but they complain of too much smoke in it. So if we are able to manage it well, we we'll have a lot of income when they come. That is, if you are able to process it better. Yes. Then you can be able to sell to export. Yes. Only a handful of women in the community, like Isa's mother, goes through the hard labor and drudgery of processing their cassava into gari, leaving tons of cassava on the farm to rot. Isa took us to see the local processing site. When they grate it, uh -huh. they pack it in this sack okay. overnight for some of the water to drain to make it easier. So they will carry it from this place and bring it here for proper squeezing. Okay. In the local language, they call this the mochi. Mochi? Yeah. Mochi? <laughs> yes. Why? Because they believe that it's similar to the mochi over there. <laughs> you have to be strong. <laughs> wow, that's hard work. Yes. Yeah. So, so this pressure we are exerting will it's remain squeezing. on it overnight. Yes, and all the water would drain out. Drain out okay. Yes, to make it easier to fry. Okay. So this is the local stove. Yes, this is the local. That's where you fry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Isa, that's why Kuyapa, we are here today. Okay. Um, we'll see how best we can help. We will be very grateful. Yes. We are going to bring in the expert so that he'll give you and all the other farmers. Some advice. Okay. okay. Okay, so we'll see you soon. See you soon, Mr. Thank you. You are welcome. Prince, immediately two things are clear. The roads in this area are bad. The cassava is bulky. That makes transporting cassava from the farm to their houses or markets difficult and costly. Two, there is no processing center in this area. The nearest processing center is hours away from here. So transportation increases production costs. You're right, Mafia. Yes. Farmers of Ahumahumasu have two major needs. One is access to market for their cassava, and second is the processing facility. And a processing facility requires an investment. 
So these farmers need to build a business plan that can convince an investor. Now we have seen the problems and we know exactly who to speak to. Mm. It's time to see the experts. Yes. Kuyapa, good farming. Kuyapa, good farming. Welcome back. Today, we're linking farmers to market. If you just tuned in, we'll quickly bring you up to speed. Earlier in the episode, we met the farmers of Ahumahumaso, a small farming community in Fantiakwa district in the eastern region of Ghana. We met with two FBO groups. We listened to their challenges regarding cassava production. But they say most is more called cabbage, any other vegetables. A bunny saying, and I must say, Musa. Sebantini, you're ready. Na at a phone about so to a little for one of Chamanua, Ubetunina, Quachi, Na or Tong Via, or Pa, and all the Sika Ebro. Cabbage and Sudia, a year ready with photos of pet, offered by a no bar, and run a cell of Koya Kwaho, the Cha, near Bessel Motto, now come Motto do Benya Rajuska as Obutum. Then we spoke to farmer Isa about the closest Gary processing facility. We don't have any processing centre here. None at all? We don't have it at all. So how do you process your cassava? Our people do it manually, right from the farm to the finished product. Moreover, roads and lack of access to adequate transport makes transporting produce costly. We concluded that farmers of Ahumahumasu need their own Gary processing facility. So we invited an expert to help these groups build their own business plan. Kuyapa invited Isaac Nimako, a business advisor from the National Board for Small Scale Industries, to help us develop a business plan for both FBOs. To a business plan, a chebi bia wo pesa wo ye e wo eden uju madim. Obu a odi mse business plan a di a e deji a ne bosiya. Mhm. Enya no kure. Isaac gave our farmers some tips on business planning. They say we are in a competition. Who do you want to hear on air? Then you talk. In the end, we will be together in a bunch. Emma Gary, Bibi, I come and ask him what he wants. Can you say? I'm not going to talk to you. I'm going to be on air. Then you're my mentor. Now you're in production. So you're in San Diego. I'm going to be your mentor. Go away, Gary. That's a good day. No, be on time. I'm going to say I'm going to be on air. We can compare some of the things we do. And so now, what's that? It's a good production, Gary. No, I'm going to say Gary. No, I'm going to be on air. Be up and fast. Invest. Be up and fast. And he said, project to be a barber, Buamo, now about the mammo equipment. On Fanchamo, it will be said, you may dinner will be no more markets. Well, who's a more market? The other just say, you better. The other better also, the other will be your day, but the movement by then, at Yaka. With the help from our experts, the group was able to plan for the economic sustainability of their farms as a business. Hence, putting together a business plan. Prince. Yes, yeah. How did you go? Well, we were able to get some information from the two former groups, Unia and Adom, and we used it to put together a business plan for them. Wow, that would be great. Sure. Once an economically viable business plan has been developed, the FBOs can now go and look for investors who will build a processing center here in the community. Exactly. We will deliver the business plan to the two FBOs, who in turn will look for help in building a cassava processing center that will serve not only this community, but neighboring communities as well. Kriapa will follow up on their progress. Time to share thoughts with the farmers of Ahumaumaso about fresh cassava output markets. Image at the end systems, you know, you have to buy a key for. And the person could be a in your phone, FN Chemi. My name is Mubenya Extension Messages. I want mobile phone also. Now, voice, you know, you have local language. I'm a mom. Now, I'm a community. I'm a community. I'm a community. Input prices are never over four ma. We be to me a koto aye onyema. Let try to crown here farm to market, no. Step one: the farmer should send hash FTM space region space crop to zero two three eight one zero 
1010. Step 2. The farmer will receive a message indicating a successful subscription. Step 3. The farmer is contacted for further details, example, the quantity of produce, the exact location, and other vital information. Step 4. The farmer is now linked up with the buyer within his or her locality for transaction. Your buyers, your aggregators, our platform also. In the same way, we are going to be able to inform the frame. Okay, so I am going to be able to know what you are going to be able to do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Today, Kiapa invited an investor, Homaku Christian, to Ahumaumaso, looking at the group's business plan. He supported Kiapa and the group to sponsor Gary Processing Facility that can reduce labor in Gary Processing. So we help a lot of people with these cassava processing machines. The only thing you need to keep a record for yourself, make sure you'll be saving some money. So that if anything spoils on the machine, you can use that money. Some people, some groups somewhere, some villages, they will just eat the money, they will just spoil the money, spoil it. When the thing is spoiled, they don't have money to, to repair it, okay. which is very bad. So I would like to be a friend of this group. Thank you. Sit here, Omeku. Say, say, Garino. You better produce more, 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 more. Thank you. Bantia de Ofufu, Bantia de Agare, Gare, Talk to any woman in Ahoma Omaso, and they will tell you that processing Gary is hard work. Lack of state-of-the-art equipment, such as crushing and drying machines, modding frying pans, and sheds that will protect them from direct sunshine and rainfall, has made it impossible for them to expand their businesses. Now that we have provided them with machines, let us give them training in Gary processing. Why not see you better me name a conwa kushia gari ni? Any mama yangu kwa me pato ye ba zisi ya wai. This is a grater. We call it cassava grater. And we have the other one, pizza, and the roaster pan. That is what we are giving. While the men were busy with homeku, I took the women to the nearest processing center, where we invited Ophelia and Christiana from the Department of Women in Agriculture to come and educate these women on how they can process their cassava to meet the commercial buyer's standard. So join us, but after the break. We are pa, good farming. We are pa, good farming. Welcome back. Time to give the women some expert advice on Gary Processing. Gary Processing is a family business. Ophelia and Christine gave our women expert advice on good practices in Gary Processing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the napkin. So, half a seat. And so, I had a... Yes, I see half a seat. And who is your favorite? I see you have a seat. And I have a seat. And I have a seat. And I have a seat. Because the women of Ahumaumaso do not have access to this machine in their village, they can now see firsthand how using it removes the grudgery of Gary making. Next, Ophelia and Christine address the issue of hygiene before preparing the cassava to be pressed. For how many days? A dose of a prayer. It takes one hour and above. Now say as a soir. Over to me, five minutes, bra. 
Yeah, this summer and about and sour and Again, Ophelia and Christine stress the issue of hygiene when dealing with food. Now you feeling in a sense, I had the animal now doing a question. At least up to the elbow. I have say. In the process of sieving the cassava dough, Ophelia and Christine once again raise the issue of hygiene. And finally, in frying the cassava dough, Christine advised about techniques to reduce the smoky taste of gari. Yeah, also kakra. And as I say, yeah, who swear you? And I drop kama. Next step is parking and branding for the market. Anything. Uh, I am very grateful. I'm very grateful. Wow, there's a lot to learn about Gary. I never knew that you can process Gary with ginger or garlic, which is very healthy. And I never knew you had to wash your hands, you have to go through all that. But there's actually fufu made out of Gary. That's awesome. Well, I'm going to take these women. We'll go and see how the processing center is coming up. First, I know my name is Ovedua Banchia. As I said, I think it's a good thing. 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 I think it's the women of Ahumaomaso got back to educate the entire group on what they learned. Finally, we had a unique gift for our farmers. Mauko Outreach supported Kuyapa with record keeping books to encourage our farmers in record keeping. Ain't he? Uba date na sada na uko e phone so no activity di awo ye e wosu wudu abanchi na kasa na aboye enti bosu me ne swa ebe ma wangu di awo dia eni kawa e den wabo sa pe 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 enti anu ti na kuapa yadi kuapa record keeping booksi yadi abremo munso mu ye na mun keeping records because enu ye a pa 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 oni ado ya mu pa ba so mu ye pa ba so mu yo eni tip of the day. Write down what you do each day on your farm. Develop record keeping sheets that are specific to your farm. Remember to note down the following date, description of activity, cost incurred, and revenue gained. 
consider noting some of these activities on your sheet. Field preparation, planting, pesticide and fertilizer application, and rainfall. Note that to take dredgery out of gari processing, farmer groups can invest in machinery such as squeezer, grater, and mechanical frying pan. Call this number 0243-178475 for any form of assistance from the National Board for Small Scale Industry. Farmers can also contact the department cooperatives at their district assemblies. Call this number 0243-178475 for any form of assistance from the National Board for Small Scale Industry. Farmers can also contact the department cooperatives at their district assemblies. Next week on Kuyapa, we are still in Ahumaomaso. We're going to introduce farmers here to improve cassava varieties that will ensure that their cassava is high quality cassava. Wow! It's an area of the a package. a package. Hey, Mafia. Hey, Prince. How did it go? I am so excited. Tell me why. We were able to get an investor to put up a processing center for the entire community. I also took the women to another processing center where they got expert advice on how to process their cassava so that they can meet expert standards. Great job, Mafia. Yes. Well, we have to find out what varieties they grow. Mm -hmm. Then we can introduce them to improve varieties so that their produce can meet the standard of the exporter. I think so too. Well, that's all for this week. But in case you missed anything, you can watch us live again on GTV on Thursday evening. Our call center remains open. You can call us at any time with any queries and we are always happy to help. Catch us while we travel the entire nation, helping hardworking farmers turn their ventures into profitable businesses. Kuyapa, promoting good farming. This program was made possible by USAID and AGRA with technical support from MOFA.